The complainant is believed to be a fan of the group L.E. Seraphim. On October 29th, a user with the ID Nen shared online that they had filed a complaint with the Ministry of Defense regarding V. This followed Min Hee Jin's mention of V during a live broadcast, where she talked about her interactions with him. Min Hee Jin appeared on a live stream hosted by music critic Kim Young Day and said, V occasionally calls me from the military. Even though he's going through difficult times, he cheerfully contacts me asking, everything's okay, right? When the issue first arose, he worried about when he should reach out. She added, On my birthday, V sent me a message early in the morning from the military wishing me a happy birthday. He is such a cheerful and lively person. I was really touched. It's not something you can do without a kind heart. I was very grateful to him. Regarding this, the complainant filed a grievance titled, Soldier V sent a text early in the morning, in which they stated, The date V sent the text was December 16th, 2023, five days after his enlistment on December 11th, 2023, and he was still a recruit at the time. This constitutes a serious violation of military law, and I suspect that because V is a famous K-pop idol, the officers may have turned a blind eye to his phone usage. V enlisted on December 11, 2023, at the 27th Training Regiment for five weeks of basic training, and is currently serving with the 2nd Corps Sengyong Unit in Chuncheon. The complainant added, I hope this will be thoroughly investigated. There was also an incident where Suga Min Yoongi of the same group was caught drunk driving while on public service duty. I plan to share this complaint with online communities. The user with the ID net has frequently posted about L.E. Seraphim in online communities. Since the dispute between Min Hee Jin and Hybe emerged in April, they have consistently defended Hybe while criticizing New Jeans and Min Hee Jin. After her request for an injunction to be reinstated as CEO of Ador was dismissed on October 29th, Min Hee Jin released a statement saying, The court did not rule on whether the shareholder agreement is valid. The agreement with Hybe still remains in effect.